If you turn your Bibles to the book of Revelation, chapter 20, we want to talk just a little bit this morning on some of the things that uh, we understand in chapter 20 concerning uh, Satan's defeat. And uh, he is going to be defeated. Amen. Uh, I believe that, and I believe what God's Word says. Uh, in chapter 20 and verse 1 of the book of Revelation. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he lay hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and, and right. sealed, set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, to the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose a little season. So we see this morning, first of all, the uh, end, end results of Satan. <coughs> Satan uh, has many names, and you notice here in this, he uh, the the uh, writer calls him uh, the devil and Satan and dragon and the old serpent. And I was thinking about this as I was reading this, and of course he's referred to the old serpent first of all in the book of Genesis, where that Eve referred to him as the serpent beguiled me. And so we we know that uh, this is all all the the bad names that we can uh, and he's called many more names, but these are some of the things that he's called. But we see here in chapter one here in the first verse, uh, I wanted I want to show you some of the weaknesses of the devil, and he knows it. He might. He knows it, but he is living in a fantasy land. And uh, for some reason, he thinks that he will win. But again, he recognizes the power of God. Notice in, in verse 1, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having a, the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain. Now he had two things that he was going to use on the devil. And that was he was going to take this key... And he was going to open the, the bottomless pit of hell. Now the, the, the hell will remain in the earth until such time as it is cast into the lake of fire. Right. And so with hell being where it's at today, we have no, we, we, we can see without a doubt that there will not be peace on earth. Right. Because hell is like a sour peel in a, a one stomach. It's laying there churning. Right. And, and and hell is churning this earth and all of this stuff is coming out and the devil has freedom to go about and to do what he will to a certain extent. He is out there stirring and uh, as we end this message you'll notice that he is after he is released from this bottomless pit he is still he is still not afraid to go up against God. Right. And so the the devil and I don't know I don't know what to call the being, but he is uh, he is one that has no uh, understanding. He is one that all he wants to do is to get a uh, is to defeat God. Mm -hmm. That is that is his prime purpose is to defeat God. And so anything that goes on in your life that the devil has anything to do with, you can bet your bottom dollar that he is trying to get a slap at God. Mm -hmm. and, and you read through the pages of the, of the Bible and how he dealt with all of these, uh, these prophets and all of this and how that uh, he had people slain, he had people's heads cut off and, and tore up and burned up and everything else. Listen, all in the world he's doing is trying to get a, another slap or another victory at God or a victory over God. But we see this, this angel here uh, has, a, has a mission. 
And so he says here, and he lay hold on the dragon. So we see here that this this drag this this angel has got the authority from God to do what he will with this 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 antichrist or this devil, and he lays hold on him. He holds him, and he wraps this chain around him. And he locks him up in this chain and he carries him down there to the bottomless pit of hell. He's got the authority to go down into hell and he casts him, he unlocks this, he's got a key, he unlocks it and he puts him in there and he locks it back and listen, the devil has not got any more power for that time that he spent there. Amen. And you would think that, that he would weaken to the point that he would have no desire, but all he does all, uh, according to the way I understand this, he just gets madder and madder and worse and worse, and 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 so uh, he 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 he'll never give up. He'll never Man. he'll never he'll never say uh, that I'm I'm wrong. He'll never say, hey, I'm defeated. He'll never say it. And 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 so we see he's in the worst place as of now that they could be. So we see then that the after he's after he's put him here and he bound he bound, binds him up for a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit shuts him up and he sets a seal on him now this seal is a seal from god that the devil cannot go past and this seal puts him there and he seals him he seals him with this thousand years just like uh uh people are going to be sealed uh, uh in their foreheads uh, by the Antichrist, and that's it's for identification. This seal here puts his puts God's power on that on that door of hell, and says, "Hey, he cannot come. He cannot Amen. come out." And we see that that he, that he that if he while he's there, the nations will not be deceived no more. Now, the thing of it is, they're going to be ruled with a rod of iron while that thousand years is there. But the thing of it is, all of these people are not going to be saved because there's no devil to interfere with them. Because if, as we as we as we study this, we see that the devil, uh, a, a, after he is loosed for a, a short season, that that he goes out and he gathers all of these people up together, and he brings them up against Jerusalem. Right. And so these people follow him willingly, and so. By that, they have not accepted Jesus Christ. They have not been saved. They're here, and they are they are contained to the point that they their that meanness in all of them is not like it would be with the devil instigating against them. But here is something I want you to I want us I want us to see here that that this devil he knows he knows that what he what he accomplishes has to be approved by God. Now, I, and, and you know you know where I'm coming from when you, I wanted to read something from in, in Job, the book of Job, and we'll, we'll get there in just a minute. But we see that Job, uh, the book of Job, there we go, in verse one, Verse, well, well, we'll go down to verse 6 in order to get through this. But in verse 6, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came along, came also among them. So we see that he had the freedom to get there. He, he had the permission to come there. But notice, And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? And so, then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. So we well, see here that he has been he has been going up and down through the earth. He has been walking through through hell, and hell is his place of of a bowl for a, 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 and he he can go right through it, and it don't buy, it don't hurt it. And so we see here that what he has been doing, he's been walking around seeing whom he can devour. Amen. Notice, and the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth, feareth God and eschewth evil? 
Then here, this is what I want you to understand. This this shows this shows us that that the devil knows where his power comes from. Mm -hmm. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does God does Job fear God for naught or for nothing? Hast thou not made an hedge about him? We see here this morning that God has protected Job. We see here that the devil cannot climb over this hedge and interfere with Job's life. We see that Job, if you look at in, in his that he had much money, much cattle, and, and a, a real wonderful family, a large family. But he said here, Has thou has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. Now listen, people, this is the same God that we have today. This Amen. is the same God that watches over us. This is the same God sometimes we look at and say, well, you know, uh, I believe you're, you're, you're not doing me like you should. But listen, God knows everything. Amen. About everything. God knew, God knew when he was talking to Satan what the plan was for letting him get to Job. He knew about all of his family dying, and he knew about how his wife would react to this, right. but it was a plan of God. Amen. When, when we get in this condition in our lifetime, and we think, well, Lord, you just, you know, I, I try to serve you and everything, and, and it's just not going right. Well, listen, you just hold off a little bit. You just wait upon the Lord because He is, He is your Savior, He is your God, and when it's all said and done, you can look back and say, hey, it was for the best. Amen. And so here we see here that that the that the devil talking to God is a, he is telling God, hey, now listen, you did all of this, and I can't get to him. If I could get to him, I would turn him up. Mm -hmm. And he showed God he would do that later on, and he showed up us that. But he says here, uh, he said you you you've done everything to protect him. But in verse eleven, he says, but put forth thine hand now. And touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. And don't think for a moment this morning that the devil is forgot those words. Because listen, I'm sure he is a repeater. He Amen. he 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 brings sin to you, and he and and he disguises it. But down in that disguise, it's the same old sin as it was when he told Eve, you surely not die, you eat that fruit. It's the same old sin, and he just, he, just, he just shapes it a little bit different. And we so many times say, well, everybody else is doing it, and hey, it all must be all right. But that's him. And he says here, he says, if you will put forth your hand and touch all that he had, and then he'll curse you to the face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. And listen, I don't, you know, I know that if if this was, if I was Job, if I was Job, and God was discussing this with the devil, I know this morning that it would be a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. I know that it would be a terrible thing to see that Everything that I had was gone. All of my children died and all of this. I know that. But listen, I've still got to come back to this right here and read this. And I've got to read the rest of the story. Mm -hmm. Because listen, there is a there is the rest of the story. Now we'll we'll see all through the book of Job where that uh, how that he uh, suffered and all of these things. But you got you got to go with the rest of the story, and that is you see the end of Job's life. Or the rest of his life, and that's the same thing here with us this morning. Listen, people, things may be may be tough. Things may not be going like they should be going with you, and and, and of course, a lot of times we get to feeling sorry for ourselves and all this. But listen, you be careful, and you 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 stay in line with the Lord, and you you praise the Lord, and you thank the Lord for what He's doing for you, because listen. Uh, there's a better day coming. Amen. If you, if you lay down in, in your bed and die in that condition, listen, serve the Lord as long as you can because there's a better day. And and, and, and so we see here that that all of these things that, that happened to Job, the devil got his permission from the Lord and right. the Lord done it. And 
it's the same way with us this morning. Now, I want you to, I want to see something, I want, I want, I want to thank you, say something else and get you thinking. You know, where, where, and I've done mention just a little bit about but where, where is hell? And I know, I, I know it's, it, it's in, I believe, and I son said, it's in the core of the earth. I believe that's where it's at. I believe that this morning when we look out here and see this, uh, uh, these eruptions out of right. the ground coming uh, over Hawaii and all uh, places like that, listen, it's coming out of hell. Right. And it's it's just evidently moving, moving to make more space. I don't know what to do. It, right. But I believe that's where it's at. And I believe this. I believe this this morning too, as we read in the last part of the of the, the Revelation here, where the death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Right. Then and only then will this earth be made pure. And it, it, as of now, listen, there's no, there's not a chance in this world of the world being pure. There's not a chance in this world of us seeing uh, uh, people come back and, 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 and as a whole and, and, and kneeling down and, and, and praising God and serving God because listen, there's too much hell in the earth for anything like a tower. And Again, we understand this morning that God has chosen whom He wants to choose. Right, Amen. And we are here this morning, and we're we're just uh, we're just uh, on a trip because listen, this is not our home, and we're going, we're going, and we're going, and one day we'll be before the Lord, and and we need to think upon this as we as we try to, to serve the Lord, and so. Uh, as, as, as this is as this as I studied this, I, I began to see. Uh, notice uh, in the in the verse seven of this, uh, after he is bound for a thousand years, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. That's that's verse seven, chapter twenty, and shall go out to deceive the nations right. which are in them. In the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. The number of whom is as the sands of the sea. Look in chapter uh, 16, chapter 16 and verse 4. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, thou art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged this thus. For they have shed the blood of the saints and the prophets. Thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. Amen. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. All of these things are going to be happening, and this time, this time here, when uh, when the devil comes back out, and when he when he tries to uh, uh, he tries to eliminate Israel, right. he's after Israel, and uh, all of the, all of these things are going to happen. So, uh, and verse ten, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and burning stone, where beasts and the false prophets are. And shall be tormented day and night forever and forever. Amen. And the thing of it is, those that those that choose to, uh, uh, well, those that the Lord don't call, I'll put it that way, the ones that the Lord don't call are going to be there with them. Amen. And uh, and you say it's not fair. Well, you have to have you'll have to have us talk with God about that. Because he's the one that made you, he's the one that will take you, he's the one that will keep you, he's the one that will protect you, and that's between you and God about that. And you, if you need to hash that out with him, and listen, the only way that I would think that you would disagree with it is because of your loss. Right. Because listen, God has made the plan, and we understand it, and God, God made everything before. The world was before he spoke anything into existence. He had a plan, and it was all made. Amen. You and I were in his plan. Uh, the ones that would would be with him in heaven was in his plan. And so these things that that are going to happen here, 
Uh, you can't, I mean, we, we that are saved, I mean, hey, there's no need of us worrying about it. Right. There's no need of us uh, 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 trying to understand what's going on in the world because, listen, all that's going on in the world this day and time it, it, it is, is, is coming from the middle of the earth. Yeah. And all of these, all of this satanic and stuff like that, this, everything that's going on is coming right out of there and the devil is on the rampage and he's doing everything he can. And he's got, he's got everything in control. Amen. Yeah. And so... Uh, He's going to be cut down, uh, and he's doing he's doing everything he can. And listen, don't think this morning that God is asleep and that God don't know what's going on. Right, man. Because God is at the control button. He's controlling Satan. He's controlling him every second of the of the of the day. He he knows what he's doing, and he allows him to do what he wants him to do in order to get this puzzle put together. One day it'll be all the last piece will be put together and we'll go home. Amen. We'll go. Thank you all for listening. I hope that something's been said here to encourage you. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's something that uh, we need to think about all the time because he's, uh, he's, he's, he's with us. The devil is with us. Uh, and he's here with all his power to, to interfere. And uh, so when these things happen, why? All you can do is say, Lord, help me. That's it. Amen. And, and, and to be your will, moving away, get him out of my life for a while. Give me a break. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for listening.